Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, J-Mando, coming at y'all with another video. As you've seen by the title, today I'm going to be doing a little story time for y'all and talking about how I got into reselling. So let's do it. All right, I had to pull up the receipts from my Chase account here to give myself the exact timeline. But this all started June, June like 11th, I would say, June 10th or 11th of 2023. And what happened was my boy, this sounds kind of crazy for the amount of money that it was, but my boy dared me to do some shit and post something on my Snapchat. It's, it was crazy. I'm not going to lie. It was some crazy, crazy shit. <laughs> I'm thinking back on it now. Maybe I'll talk about that in another in another video. I don't know. That's kind of crazy. But he paid me $100, $100 Venmo to do what I did. And I posted it. And he sent the Venmo through. You know, he's a real one. So that, that hit my account, right? So $100 hit my account. And then I'm looking here. I had like $50 from Venmo hit my account. It was probably from my mom. And then I, I sold some sneakers on GOAT. I had a pair of sneakers that I got for Christmas on GOAT. Or I got for Christmas and I sold them because I didn't really like them on GOAT. So this was literally within the same week. I got paid from GOAT. So I got that 100 from my boy. I got paid 170 from GOAT. And then I think I got a check for my birthday or something like that for 150 from my grandparents. So then that was 150, 170, and 100. So my money like stacked really quickly, and this was all in the span of a week. My friend paid me like June 11th, GOAT paid me June 13th, and then that check hit June 15th. So that all happened in like the span of one week, and then that's when I really was like making money. Or well, I wasn't making money, but like all that money hit at once, and then I kind of like got that rush of like, oh, I want to make money. Like just seeing the number rise in your account, you kind of, you get that drive to, you know, make more. So what officially happened was June 21st, I spent $150 on four AirPods. And if you guys watch my videos, you know that's kind of crazy because I, I get them now for 18. My supplier sells them for 18, highest quality. So I paid 150 for four. And if you guys are looking for a supplier, I'm throwing a little quick shameless ad, but if you're looking for a supplier to get started, head over to moneygetsbigger.store. All right, I'm gonna make this real quick because I'm actually getting pretty invested in this story time now. I'm taking a trip down memory lane. The moneygetsbigger.store electronic and clothing reselling guide this crazy sale going on right now is going to end at the end of August. So take advantage while you still can. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because, as I said, I paid $150 for four AirPods. And I would get them for about $80 now. So that was what I originally paid. So don't get them for too expensive. $18, highest quality, two to four day US shipping from my top AirPod supplier. This is on the electronic links. It comes with all this. You could pause and slow down if you wish. But like I said, I'm not going to talk about it too much. And then the clothing supplier is just a direct contact to my clothing supplier. You got some guys checking it out right now. But over a million products, it's not an exaggeration. These links are also in the description if you want to look through these. It's all this stuff. But yeah, Money Gets Bigger Dot Store. Big sale ends August, end of August. So go ahead and get on that now. But yeah, back to the story time. So yeah, I spent that $150 originally on four AirPods. And I listed them all up on Macari. And the next Macari payout I have is for $1,000. Now keep in mind that wasn't all AirPods because like I said at this time that money started to come in all at once and this is when my money like just my money making journey kind of kick started. I was just selling everything around the house and like I was very fortunate. I mean I still am very fortunate money wise the way I came up and am co are coming up. Fuck grammar. I've been out of school for too long. Going back soon. So anyway the way I had a lot of stuff laying around my house is what I'm trying to trying to get at. I had a lot of stuff laying around the house, a lot of, you know, personal belongings that, you know, I just wasn't using, and yeah, just stuff laying around the house everywhere, a lot of shit that wasn't being used, just chilling in random fucking rooms, random parts of the house, so I was just grabbing everything, selling everything, like I had a whole vinyl collection, all of that got sold, random sneakers, used sneakers around the house, all of that was gone, we had like multiple rooms, like one room just wasn't being used, like my brother used to live in there, but he like, that's neither here nor there. Everything in that room, listed it up. Everything in my room, listed it up. Everything in the basement, listed it up. Everything in the cabinets, listed it up. Everything in the drawers, listed it up. I was making bank off Macari, I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, that's not like a viable money-making method for everybody out there, because like I said, I came up very fortunate. But I'm sure you got some decent stuff laying around your house, even if you're just not using it. You can come up on a couple hundred dollars pretty easily. And I tell, it, I tell it to you guys a lot because not only is it a good way to make some money, it's a good way to get your Macari account like verified. A lot of you guys say you have problems with your accounts getting taken down and it's because you don't have like a real account. Think about it. If you just make an account, 
no prior sales or purchases, anything like that, and the first thing you do is list brand new AirPods for 80 bucks, they're gonna shut your account down like this. So to have you know, 20, 30 verified sales with verified reviews, and you've made you know a couple hundred or a couple thousand on your Macari account, or like I said, like a lot of reviews and your trusted account, emails linked, all that, it's gonna be a lot harder to get your account taken out because you're like a valuable seller now, you're making them money, and you just look like a real account because you are. So yeah, I, I made about $1,000 on my first Macari payout, and then after that, let's see, I know I bought more, or I made a website, that's what it was. Yeah, I made my website, which is Money Gets Figured Out Store, but I, I think it's, at first, at first, if you guys are from OGs, I don't know if any of you are this, this OG, but my next, I'll, I'll get to that in a second, my next payout was Macari again, that was 800 so like I said, it was definitely some AirPods mixed in, but it wasn't all AirPods, it was some of the stuff that was chilling around my house. But after this, I believe I got into drop shipping. That's like the, that's like, you know, here's another 850 on Macari. So yeah, I was making bread on Macari, I'm not gonna lie, another 280 on Macari. And then eBay was 210 right here. I think that might have been like the AirPod Maxes, I'm not gonna lie. Because I think I stopped buying for my, my the supplier who charged me 150 for four AirPods. And I've started buying like a real supplier. Um, but yeah, here are some purchases from my real supplier. I suppose $100. And then I started my Shopify thing. And the way that worked out was my Shopify account. Originally, like I said, I tried drop shipping. So I tried like a couple different products. I don't even think I ever really like made it to the point where I was advertising. But I did have a website at one point. Actually, you know, even before that, I think the first GoDaddy thing, I was building websites. That's what it was. That was the first thing I started too after I started Macari. It started with the Air with the AirPods, like the four AirPods I bought, and then it was Macari, like selling up everything. And then after that was web design. I was making a website. It was called Stellify. It was like I was gonna make websites for other people, like web design. So I bought the domain and shit for that. And then I started getting into sh into drop shipping. So then with drop shipping, I made the my websites. I was gonna do like some some flip flops, and then I was gonna do like some clothing shit, and then like a neck fan. I don't even know. That shit never panned out, obviously. But during that whole time, that I was just always trying to make money, and then reselling like kind of just found me, and then that's what I took off with. But like I said earlier, if you guys are OG OGs, like first three to five videos on this channel, you remember I was originally selling the AirPods like straight up. Like if you bought from my website, I would ship you the AirPods. But that was a fucking nightmare. I remember I sold, I got like, I got, I think I got like a thousand dollars worth of orders. And they just completely, what do you call it? They held my funds. So every time somebody purchased from me, I would have to purchase the AirPods and then send them to that person. But all my funds were being held. So if someone spent $200 on AirPods for me, I have to spend the money to buy the AirPods, but I wasn't getting paid. So I would basically just have to like, fork up all this capital without anything coming in so it just wasn't working and i think one dude bought some shit from like switzerland and i had to like ship it internationally it got stuck at customs bro I had to pay like 90 dollars nightmare that shit was so ass and then that is when i went i switched to the links the supplier links that's when i switched to that and i was still reselling at this time still am because that's what all my videos are about was the you know, the reselling AirPods series, that's what kind of blew me up. Like that first video, I think it's at like 15,000 views. So that's where that originally came from. So yeah, it's been it's been a hell of a journey. And then of course I took time off. I think I stopped posting like August because I kind of just got, I guess, demotivated. I just lost motivation because I was like making good money and then I just stopped doing it. And then I think December, I started posting, this is 2023. I started posting end of December because we were on Christmas break. I, I've been saying this. It's like every time I'm not in school, it like revamps my money making motivation. Like that first, uh, it was junior year summer. So summer going into senior year, 2023 summer, I made all that money from the links and, and the AirPods and all the Macari and all that reselling, everything like that. And then I had winter break, December, and I started up posting again. I posted from like the end of December, like last week of December. To maybe like February or March, I want to say something like that. And then obviously, the more I post, the more it spikes the sales. So I was making money there. And then I stopped posting. And then I just started up again in like, I think it was June. So obviously, we get out of school like early July, late May. So now I haven't been in school. I'm posting daily videos throughout all of August. I mean, I'm putting in work, man. Come on. So yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been doing good. 
But to sum it all up, it started with it started with Mercari just finding shit around the house. I'm telling you, once you see those, like I said, once you see those first couple payments hit your account, when you start stacking that bread, you see a hundred, you see two hundred, it just it kind of like lights a fire inside of you, and then you just you make that snowball bigger as it kind of rolls down the hill. The snowball collects more snow, and now you, you got a boulder at the end of the hill because it just lights that fire. Once you see that 100, you want to see two, you want to see three, you want to see a thousand, then you want ten thousand, you know. So that that's that's the first thing I would say. Just go sell some shit around your house. It requires no skill, and I'm sure you got some shit laying around. Maybe not as much as me, because like I said, very fortunate. But you definitely have some stuff you get rid of. Some old sneakers you're not wearing. Some trash pair like ripped up used sneakers. You could get a little bit of money for them, you know. It's better than nothing. It's better than them sitting and you not using them. So yeah, I started on Macari. That kind of sp oh, actually not. Nah, it started with it started with the Snapchat, and that's the craziest shit about it. Because I said this before, it was a crazy Snapchat, and it 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 cut ties with this girl. Like me and this girl, we kind of had been like hooking up in the past, and then we was like cool on like friendly terms. And then this shit this shit was like this was a year ago now. No, it feels longer. Holy shit, it feels way longer. Yeah, I guess it was a year. No. Yeah, no, I guess it was a year ago. Yeah, I just told you all the timestamps. But, you know, where she's, like, hated me since. And I, I guess rightfully so. But I've always said, I was like, I don't regret it. Like, that $100 sparked everything since. All the money I made last year, all the money I've made now, everything since was because of that post I posted about her. So, like, I lost that friendship. But, like, I wasn't really talking to her anyway. Like, I, I lost that friendship for a nice nice couple thousands of thousands and thousands of dollars that sounds like a what drake say what drake say honestly that sounds like a fair trade to me <laughs> yeah yeah nah that post was od but shit i made bands because of it so everything happens for a reason right i guess that relationship just wasn't needed in my life Y'all yeah, do not, oh no, nah, that's crazy. That shit's so facts though. Like when you really think about it, that single Snapchat, like him Venmo me that $100, lit the fire. It was that, then it was the GOAT payment from the sneakers, and then it was a check that hit for my birthday. That was like almost $500 in literally the span of like five days. Think about it. I don't, I've never had a job. I've only ever like worked my own shit, like been my own, my own uh, boss, like a brand owner, entrepreneur, whatever you want to call it. So I've never really had like money coming in like that. You know, I've stacked some money over the years, whatever, birthday money, shit I've sold, stuff like that. But $500 in a week, that's like crazy. So it kind of, like I said, lit that fire. But it all started with that original 100 my boy sent me for posting that Snapchat. So it really is crazy how that shit all pans out. I lost that relationship with that girl, like cut ties. I should, still to this day, she does not fuck with me, like at all. I like apologized at one point and then we was like kind of cool but like not really she still like completely fucking hated me and she, I guess act, she didn't even really act like we was cool like she would not say hi to me bye to me like parties and shit so fucking worth it though I'm not gonna lie like do I feel bad <laughs> no I don't feel bad I'm, be, I'm gonna keep it a buck like I said relationship with a girl who I barely talk to regardless yeah, bands, 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 bands. I'm choosing the bands. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, like I said, it started with that hundred crazy Snapchat posts, OD, and then the goat payment, check from the grandparents, and then it was the AirPods. AirPods. I listened to my Macari, so that was kind of mixed in with the Macari payments. It was AirPods stuff around my house, and then it went to it went to web design, and then it went to drop shipping. And then I went to selling the AirPods on my website and promoting them through YouTube. And then I went to selling links. Same shit with the YouTube. And then here we are today. A year. A year. What was that? May, June. This what? So a year and two months later. 14 months later. Crazy journey, man. But here we are. 2,000 something subscribers. Good, good lump sum of money made. Made y'all a bunch of money as well. It's been a hell of a journey, man. Been a hell of a journey. And I sure as shit wouldn't trade it for that bitch's friendship, let me tell you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh man. Oh. Wow. <laughs> anyway, that is the story of how I got into reselling and how it's taken me this far and everything in between. So yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little story time with me. And yeah, if you did, make sure to like and subscribe and be good.